So how many of you have heard the term sequestration? Okay. How many of you know what it actually means? Okay. Well, let me try to explain this with another question. How many of you have ever tried to lose weight? Yeah, don't be shy. We've all been there. Well, imagine that you met this magical weight loss genie. And he said to you, I'm going to help you lose all the weight you want. But there's one catch. You have to lose it equally along your whole body. So if you want to lose two pounds here, you have to lose two pounds in your ear. Now you might say to that magical weight loss genie, that's ridiculous. <laughs> because I don't care if my ear looks good in a swimsuit. I want this to look good in a swimsuit, right? Well, we're laughing because this sounds ridiculous, but this is exactly what sequestration is. It is Congress asking the federal government to lose weight all over the place, regardless of whether you are the Department of Education or the Department of Defense. <laughs> so what I, want to talk, what I want to talk to you about more specifically today is the effects of sequestration on our ability to, uh, to explore, to explore Earth and beyond. Because politics has always been a part of exploration. If we look at the Apollo program, that had very little to do with lunar science, but it had everything to do with beating the Soviets in a Cold War. In fact, there was only ever one scientist on an Apollo mission, and it was the last Apollo mission. Decades later, things didn't really improve. Congress tried to cancel the International Space Station many times, and the only reason why it orbits today is because the Clinton administration made it central to its foreign policy objective of engaging the Russians in a post-Cold War era. Now, I could go on with many more examples of this, but my point is that if we continue to ignore the role of politics and exploration, if we continue to be unaware of things like sequestration, our exploration programs are at risk. So what can you do? Well, if you're a scientist, you can give talks like this. If you're a parent, you can inspire your child to be tomorrow's explorers. If you're anybody else in this room, you can write to your elected officials and remind them that science and exploration, that innovation goes hand in hand. Now these things, they're not easy. They take time, they take effort. We're busy people. We have conferences in Hawaii to go to. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it is up to us to remember what JFK said 50 years ago, that when we choose to explore, when we choose to do these things, we do them, not because they are easy, but because they are hard.